Welcome back. U.S. President Joe Biden has met his goal to have all adults eligible for the coronavirus vaccine. Health officials around the country are hitting what appears to be a soft ceiling with more than half the nation's adults getting at least one dose. Dr. David Ajibade is a public health physician, CEO of Brain and Body Foundation. He joins us from Dallas in the U.S. Thank you for joining us on the program. Thanks for having me, Melissa. How are you? All right. Very well. Thank you. I want to begin with how Dallas is today. And this is amidst the news of the sentence handed down, um, should I say, guilty verdict to Derek Chauvin in Minneapolis. Because places like Cleveland, for example, um, a COVID-19 vaccine mass vaccination site uh, was temporarily suspended. Um, this is out of the abundance of caution following uh, the verdict announcement. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I heard that places in New York to have boarded up uh, Dallas. To be sure, everywhere in the country, they had people on standby. Of course, the crowds, large crowds outside many of the public areas and the cities and downtown to await the, the results and the verdict. So, yeah, the, it was a tense time yesterday for everyone, Dallas included. And I'm glad they made the right decision. In my opinion, that was the right decision. It's also interesting to see that the trial put the COVID-19 altered courtroom on worldwide display. But let's switch to the U.S. Uh, the State Department has announced that it will update its travel guidelines, um, you know, to more closely align with CDC recommendations. It is saying that... Um, Approximately 80% of the countries worldwide will now fall under the highest travel advisory uh, level, which is level four, do not travel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm sure many African countries are included in that as well. Um, here's the thing. There's already a lot of transmission. We're still seeing about 70,000 cases every single day. So yes, the vaccinations have helped tremendously in terms of severity, and uh, deaths, but it hasn't really, really helped by way of the spread. And don't forget, there's a south border crisis where people from all over South America are pouring in through the border. And those who aren't being vaccinated, they are in large groups, so you can be sure COVID-19 is spreading. So yes, it is the right thing to do and to protect the citizens by shutting down on travel to other parts of the world, but don't forget that the roof is leaking, in other words, and uh, it's, it's in the south border. So it's... As, it's as, a, as a public health physician, do, do you think that this would limit transmission if they're sort of closed in, looking at, you know, all of the numbers, all the waves that several other countries, neighboring countries are facing? I think that ship has sailed. And again, there are many states in the U.S. now who have just basically opened everything up. Um, you can go into, I go into restaurants, some of the restaurants, they say you must wear a mask. Other places, they say it's up to you, make up your own mind, whatever you want. To do. So the, even though from a national perspective, they're tightening, they're trying to make sure that CDC regulations are followed in a state-by-state -state basis, that is not the case in many places. So I, I'm not sure that's really, really going to make a difference. Except, right. of course, when it comes to the, the variants. So if we're talking about the variant, we're trying to restrict variants coming from outside the country into the U.S., then that's good. that can be a solution to it. But in terms of what is already here, I mean, it's already spread too far. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you uh, for joining us, Dr. David Ajibadi, public health physician, CEO of Brain and Body Foundation. Stay safe. Thank you.